Hey everyone, Fierce Technology here. Uh, I've got the BlackBerry Bold 9900 here, and I'm going to be showing you what um, the new um, BlackBerry app world looks like. Um, BlackBerry's completely revamped their app world, um, so we're going to go into it right now and see. Um, now, what they've kind of done, they've kind of done it like uh, like a QNX style operating system, the playbook type operating system. So um, what it uses, it uses this um, scrolling type thing right here. So you can kind of scroll through all your featured apps right here. Um, and it's uh, pr pretty straightforward. Um, it's got the search bar on the top there so you can actually search right through um, see what kind of uh, apps that you want. A little bit of a downfall is um, that for the OS 7 there's a lot of apps missing um, so far so a lot of the developers haven't actually um, pushed um, a lot of popular apps like uh, eBay is one that I used all the time they don't have it on the BlackBerry OS 7 so hopefully that's coming soon um, we'll go through the bottom right here. So we've got um, games, we've got apps, um, my worlds, and payment options. So games, obviously, pretty straightforward. It's going to go into it. Um, you can get access to all the games um, that are featured now. So there's different categories uh, for games, obviously, all right there. And as you can see, it's kept with that uh, new BlackBerry 6 and OS 7 and 6 uh, style so you can kind of scroll through and you can see new arrivals, top rated um, categories, top free, top paid so um, not too bad for that. Uh, apps, um, same type of thing so it's got uh, the feature type apps right through here um, and then right at the bottom click that thing, scrolls up and you've got all your other apps that you can go through so um, weather, shopping, all those type of uh, different apps that you can go on to. Um, my, World's, uh, my World is obviously all the apps that you have downloaded or um, that are available on your device. Um, it does also say upgrades available if there are any. As you can see, one of my apps is available or eligible for an upgrade. So um, there it is right there, the iLock application. So um, payment options, which is really nice. Um, that's my email address if anyone wants to know. Uh, but uh, basically, payment options are uh, basically where you can edit so where do you want to have it billed to um, PayPal, whether you want to bill it to your carrier, or whether you want to bill it um, straight off to a credit card. So you've got all those um, options through there. So um, that's kind of how it is. Um, I find it a little bit slow, but then it is a lot more um, integrated, a lot more uh, detailed. Um, I'll show you actually when you go into an app. I'm going to go into this uh, screen muncher one. So the way they've got the apps laid out now, so um, download straight up on the bat right there, just like how it was. Um, and it's got this same type of OS 6, OS 7 um, style, so you can kind of scroll through. So we've got reviews, screenshots, summary. So rather than actually clicking on those things before on the older app world, you can actually just scroll through right off the home screen. So it does take a little bit of more time to load up um, because it is loading up all of those things. So um, there you have it, new BlackBerry app worlds. Um, so far not too bad I'm not a huge fan of it I know BlackBerry is trying to keep revamping um, all of their um, app worlds um, they've had so many updates for app worlds lately um, I'm still hate to say it a fan of the Apple type app world it's just the layout is a little bit easier this one I find just a little too much stuff a little too, too cluttered not as simple um, I, I thought the layout actually of the previous one was a little bit simpler, a little bit easier to get around. But uh, again, some people do like this style of um, app world and they will like it better. So it's kind of a matter of opinion. Um, there you have it, BlackBerry app worlds um, for the new BlackBerries.